It's been a while, hasn't it? Remember me? I'm the one that got away. Well, I've been keeping an eye on you, Marion, and I don't like what I've been seeing. Don't like it at all. You ought to know better than to get involved again, Marion. Especially with a man like that. An ex-con. <laughs> oh, you're just asking for it. What do you really know about him, huh? You sure he's cured, Marion? You that good? All I want's for you to be happy. And I'm gonna do everything in my power to see that you are. by the powers vested in me by the state, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. I love you, Doc. Congrats. Thank you. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Mr. and Mrs. Roger Hart. Something I said? Oh, come on, Bismarck. Be nice to Roger. He acts jealous. He'll just take time. I get that. Bismarck, stop it. Don't screw this up, dog. I mean, I know you were here at first, but I've got her now. Okay? But you married him anyway. You never learn, do you? Don't say I didn't warn you, Marion. Honey, you know you got some messages? I told you what I'd do if you didn't stop seeing him, Marion. But you married him anyway. You never learn, do you? Don't say I didn't warn you, Marion. Who is this? I don't know. Somebody playing a joke. Yeah, well, it didn't sound like a joke to me. How long has he been doing this? It's just part of being a psychologist, Roger. The kooks get your number from time to time. He said he warned you. Hey, don't let some crank caller spoil our honeymoon. Such as it is. See if you can get this open. Boy, I wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow. Roger, forget about it. You're my wife now. I want to know what's going on. All right. He said he's going to slit my throat. Well, he's the most romantic guy I've ever known. I mean, flowers and presents, the whole bit. But he's changed. How? He's started getting paranoid. 
violent sometimes. I don't know what it is I've done to him. Maybe you haven't done anything, Diane. He started playing games with me. He's even threatened to kill me. When I try and leave, then he heats up the romance all over again. Well, the first step is for him to get help. He won't go. I, I've tried. He says it's my problem. Then he may not even know that he has a problem. And if that's the case, uh, you've got to get out and you've got to get help. We've been talking this evening with Dr. Marion McGregor, psychologist and author, about the games men and women play. Please join us again next week at the same time. Dr. McGregor will be happy to take you. Roger, are you home? Smart, don't you? With your fancy degrees and your house and your money and your social climbing friends. You thought you were rid of me, didn't you? But you're not. I'm gonna kill you, man. But you least expect it. Oh, and it'll be slow. Because I'd like to watch you suffer. Back, Marion. Oh, you scared me. Listen to me. We have got to call the cops. No. Why not? They can put a trace on no, the phone. No, you can't. They'll... They'll what? You know who he is, don't you? Sounds like... My first husband. That's it. No, it can't be him. Why not? He's dead. Gordon died four years ago. Marion! Honey, I don't know what's going on. The sooner we call the cops, the better. We could change the number. Great. Well, we could... We could move. I'm not married to this house. I'm married to you. Then do it for me. Please, call the police. I will. I will. Promise? Mm -hmm. What do you say we grab a shower? How come you never mentioned this thing you have about showers, huh? Are you complaining? Does it look like I'm complaining? Mm. Is it me? Cabernet Sauvignon, 1978. Very nice. <laughs> There's no way he could still be alive. Oh, it's possible. That car was burned to a cinder at the bottom of a canyon. Who knows who was in the car? We were never able to make a positive ID. So, are there any other rooms we haven't seen? This is it. <laughs> Reminds me of my grandmother's house back in Omaha. We used to go there Sundays. Kids, grandkids. <laughs> we used to play hide and go seek. I used to always hide down in the basement. All the rest of the kids were too scared to go there. Oh, what a great old house. Everything, the furniture, the lamps, my father's study. It's just as they left it. Except for the security system. Is it all right? I guess. Oh, my feeling about security is if they can assassinate a president, they could sure as hell get to you if they want to. 
I mean, not you personally, of course, or anybody. No one else has a key? No. Well, keep a close eye out, and we've got a tracer on the phone. Thank you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant? That's the best security. Just be careful with it. I know what I'm doing. Goodbye, Lieutenant. I'll be in touch. Run a make on Roger Harden. California license number. Come on. Let me buy you a drink. Hello. Just a minute. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I completely forgot. I'll be right there. You can't go falling apart every time the phone rings. <laughs> Thank God I have you. I've got to get ready. For such a long time now. I am so honored. You are just wonderful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Your show saved my marriage. Really? Yes. The uh, separate vacations bit. My husband read your book and thinks you're brilliant. His name is Bernard. Bernard. I'm sorry. I, 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 I feel sick. What? I feel sick. I. Is there a back door? Yes. Straight from ship. All right, everybody. She'll be right back. going anywhere.
You're embarking? You tried to kill me, but you couldn't. I'm too clever. I jumped before the car went over. You look frightened, Mary. I'm scared. Are you afraid? Look, Mary. I've got something. Are you all right? Who are you? Dr. Kaufman, a psychiatrist. You should have institutionalized her four years ago when she first told me. Why didn't you? Why? Oh, professional ethics, one shrink to another. I thought I could help her. She was making such great progress. Then when I found out she was marrying you, I knew it was happening all over again. What was happening? Marion was losing control. What about Gordon's body? Why would she... Keep it? Because she loved him. And that's what you do when you love somebody. And he's a beast. And the cellar is the only place to hide. <laughs> 